Hi guys! So I'm so excited. It's finally almost Christmas and it's a lazy Monday. I'm in my PJs because it's just been such a hectic week, weekend, all that. Anywho, <laughs> I wanted to share my favorite like holiday get ready with me. So I thought I'd take you guys along the journey with me. So let's do it. And if you guys want to see how I got this crazy red that you can't see because my light is tuning out the color it's a red lip with a gold shimmery eye and it's all drugstore all drugstore products or your favorite zhuzh you know that type of thing so if you want to see how i got this look and creepy bear <laughs> that guy right there <laughs> just keep watching who's excited for monday <laughs> stay tuned so to start, well I'll say this beforehand, I definitely primed and did my eyebrows off camera. I'll leave the video for my eyebrow routine down below. And I'm just applying my Maybelline foundation. I actually, like this was, I'm actually so excited that I found this foundation again because it was my favorite foundation that I used to use. Like, I started out with this one. And this is um Maybelline Mineral Power. Wow, I can't read today. And I'm just applying that with an e.l.f. foundation brush. And I like, like, it doesn't matter how little or a lot you apply this foundation. It just applies seamlessly. And it just, it's like a semi-matte type of finish. And it's just, oh my god. If you're trying to cover all those little small imperfections, it'll cover it completely. Like, it, it, it could be, you could do it to where it's minimum, like minimal coverage to like full, full-on coverage. And it just, it does the job every time now we're gonna get into the priming of the lids i'm using an elf glitter primer because you know we're using shimmers today and i'm just blending that out because don't we all need a blend a little in our life <laughs> silly faces be damned and now i'm using this cute little milani um eyeshadow that i had found recently was done with the palm and that's and i will I'll, I'll leave all the info for the products I use down below. I'm just applying that with a small eyeshadow brush and I just I put it all over my lid and I just blended it out a little bit because you know I'm gonna you're gonna keep applying that color throughout. So I'm just setting a base for it. And I just wet the brush a little bit because this is a um since it's glitter like bronzy glittery type of shadow, it looks good either wet or dry. So but I, I tried it both ways. Like, to do it as a base, I started it dry, and then I went over it wet, and then I went back over it dry to make that color really intense and pronounced. Like, I loved it. I loved it. Big forehead. <laughs> now I'm using a Wet n' Wild eyeshadow, like, one of those singular ones. And that one is in the shade Panther. And I'm just going into my outer V and bringing it into my crease. It's going to look really harsh because I kind of, like, got a little heavy-handed with it. But you just blend it out and you just pack it on until you, you get your desired, like, intensity. And I was going for, like, kind of somewhat dramatic but not necessarily all the way there. I just wanted to make sure I got, like, the... Oh, I can't formulate sentences today. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I got all of that, like, intensity in. I didn't want to take away from the gold. Well, bronze, I should say. I didn't want to take away from that, but I didn't want to make it, like, real, like, subtle. I wanted it to be, like, out there. Because, you know, it's holidays. You gotta go full-on glam, right? <laughs> and I'm just making silly faces and just blending it in. This, you, it may look like a raccoon at the moment, but we're getting there. We will blend our life away. As we get there. And I'm just, um, you know, bringing that out more. And I'm going over what I did. I'm just bringing out the glitter. If you hear yelling and screaming, that's my nephew. He's just, they play and they get really loud. So that's what you hear. And I'm just, I, and this one, like normally I, I'll pat the um the eyeshadow against whatever I'm using. Like especially if you're using a palette or whatever. You know, you pat it before you start applying it. This one I will go full out. Because then that, it's, it's less that you have to do later. So if you're if you're a type of person that doesn't like fall out, definitely just let it happen because it'll help you later on. And now I'm just applying a Jordana blush, 
I didn't really get too crazy because I don't contour really because I'm still getting the hang of that. But I'm just applying that with the um, I applied it with a Amazon brush I got online, and then I just um set my concealer with um the Elf clarifying powder I have, and now I'm just using a drug. Was it? It was. I think I got it in a beauty supply store. It's a Nika A or Nikita A. I believe eyeliner. <laughs> And I got a message. <laughs> and I'm just highlighting my face because, you know, I can't leave the house without a highlighted face. Gotta do it. <laughs> and that's a Benefit What's Up highlighter. Ever since Katie used it, Lustre Locks on YouTube, I've been in love because I'm going to overuse it. And I'm going to get the full size, too. But now I'm just lining my lips. I know it. I don't normally line my lips, but with these type of looks and the fact that I want it to last, like, all day... I'm lining my lips. And I go, like, because I'm using lip gloss over it, you could do the same thing if you're using a, a lipstick. I just go in more. I'm not overlining, but I'm color. I'm not coloring in my full lip. I'm going to where I know it's going to fade more, which is the outer part of your lips and then the inner part. Whew. Talking fast makes it hard to breathe. <laughs> and I'm just doing a lip gloss cocktail with a Milani lip gloss that has no name because I, I think I got this in a Dollar Tree store I'm not too sure and it had no name I was so upset and then a NYX 